Let's turn now to the G20 summit in London, President Obama calling the meeting a turning point. And the summit's host, British Prime Minister Gordon Brown, said he sees the emergence of a new world order. The G20 leaders produced a communique at the end that offers few details and specifics and little more than pledges. But a lot of pledges. Pledges of a trillion dollars for the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank. Pledges to be better regulators and pledges not to be protectionist. Ed Henry is with the president and reports now from London. Striding into an overflow room of reporters from around the world, President Obama declared his first summit a success, even though he didn't get all he wanted. We finished a very productive summit that will be, I believe, a turning point in our pursuit of global economic recovery. It was historic because of the size and the scope of the challenges that we face and because of the timeliness and magnitude of our response. The magnitude $1.1 trillion the G20 leaders agreed to pump into the global economy, which Mr. Obama was pushing over the objections of French President Nicolas Sarkozy and German Chancellor Angela Merkel. But it's directed to the International Monetary Fund to help developing countries, so it may not have the stimulative effect the president wanted. I think we did okay. Mr. Obama suggested expectations were too high, noting it was easier to find consensus at summits led by British and American leaders in decades past. Well, if, if it's just Roosevelt and Churchill sitting in a room uh, with a brandy, uh, you know, that's an that's a easier negotiation. <laughs> but that's not the world we live in. Also a mixed bag on financial oversight with Mr. Obama stopping the French president's demand for a powerful new overarching financial regulatory body. Instead, the leaders agreed to establish a new financial stability board as an early warning sign for future crises. But it has little teeth to actually crack down on risky investments like hedge funds. I think the steps in the communique were necessary. Whether they're sufficient, we've got to, uh, we've, we've got to wait and see. This group, once again, will uh, respond as needed. This group gets another chance to respond this September in New York. But it's important to remember its last meeting was five months ago in Washington. And the crisis has only gotten worse ever since. So it's not clear that today's actions will stop this global recession. Ed Henry, CNN, London. And to put